Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. So finally, I'm gonna be using the P800. Um, so to start, like I said, I've never used this machine. I have the um, P770, then I have two six needle multi, two six needle machines, and I have a uh, baby lock alliance one needle machine okay so i'm gonna go ahead and test stitch first with the machine before i make an actual shirt so i want to see if i need to use the pre-wound bobbin like it's like a clip type thing in the machine or if i don't need it so i want to double check with that it depends on what type of bob pre-wound bobbins you use so i've never used this with this machine so i'm gonna go ahead and try it out so that i can give you guys an answer so you guys will know whether you need to use that extra piece or not um let me show you the piece i'm talking about so the piece comes in the little bag um, and it is for the pre-wound bobbin. It's in a little case like this with the instructions. And the instructions pretty much say it depends on the size of your pre-wound bobbin. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna focus. It's not gonna focus. Okay, well this is what it looks like. I will try it with and without it. Or if it works without it, I'm not gonna try it with it. So I'm gonna start without it. Um, and I'm gonna use this uh, t-shirt like fabric to um, test it out. So to test it out, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to get the hoop, which is a 5x7 hoop. Here is the hoop I'm going to use. And I'm just going to hoop the fabric, hoop the stabilizer, and just go ahead and just test, test it out. I'm going to test out a font that I use um, regularly and see how it uh, stitches out. Also, what this piece is right here on the hoop it's to loosen tighten the hoop so that's what that is for if you were curious so let's just go ahead and hoop real quick um this is going to be like a quick hoop it's not going to be anything professional because i'm just trying to test it uh test the machine to see if i need to put that piece in with the bobbin or not just so i have a feel of how um this machine is currently set up. so i'm going to don't mind me Get a piece, put this in here, and I'm just going to get some scissors somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to cut just a test piece. So I'm just cut a little bit bigger than the hoop. Okay, and I'm going to throw this over here. And I need a piece of stabilizer. Nothing's going to be centered. This is just to just, uh, just to just. This is just to test hoop it. Okay, so have the fabric and the uh, shirt on top. Not the shirt, <laughs> the stabilizer and the shirt. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this together. Okay, I'm gonna loosen it. Hopefully I'm loosening it and not tightening it. Okay, and I'm gonna push it in. Okay, and then you see it's wrinkled, so I'm gonna tighten it. Okay, so let's see. It's been a minute since I've used one of these hoops. So there we go, it is nice and, I think someone said taut, taut, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so it is nice and tight. So what I'm going to do next is one. So if this was a shirt, you need to be careful because it would, so it, since it reaches the bottom, it could sew all the way through, but this is just a practice, so it's fine. So I'm gonna turn the machine on. The on button's on the side. Like I said, this is just a test to see if the um, if the stitching and the tension, everything is set correctly. Of what I need to adjust. So this is just a practice stitch. Okay, 
All right, so I'm gonna plug the USB in. And click this USB, you can't even see that. We'll click this USB button. And I'm gonna grab the word love and click set. So then what I'm going to do is put this hoop in. Okay, it is in. Let me show it out the way. And then I am going to, so I haven't used this before. I need a thread. Oh, it's threaded with green, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the green threaded. And I think I'm just gonna move this all the way up. So I'm moving it all the way up. I'll click OK. So let's see what else is in here. It tells you it's for color. Okay, okay. At the end. Okay. So then I am going to click embroidery and on the screen let me brighten this it's darker on the screen it tells you this is the five by seven hoop this one that's gray is the four by four and that's an oval hoop but um i'm just going to go ahead and start sewing to see what the tension looks like. Um, it tells you it's four minutes, 1800 stitches, and one thread color. So let's see how it tests stitches. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So I've never sewn with this one yet so I threaded it in the last video if you haven't seen the last video it's my unboxing video so I put I had the needle up and now I'm going to push it down and the light turns green and that is the start button it's been a while since I did this so we'll see how this goes Call number one, needle jammed. So we're going to lift the needle up. And I am going to clip this. Take the needle out. One needle down. So I'm gonna lift it up and see what is going on. See what happened. From the back, it should be split evenly, like a third green, a third white, 
a third green so the top tension is too tight so i'm going to lower it um right now it's set at four i'm going to lower it to 2.6 so let's lower it well let's do 2.8 i'm gonna lower it to 2.8 um and we gotta put a new needle in so that's one needle broken and let's see how many more broken needles we're gonna get mm -mm -mm -mm. So this may not be a embroidering a whole shirt video. This might just be finding the correct tension video. Alright, let me re-thread this. Okay, it's re-threaded. And let's put this bag on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again from zero, and then I'm just going to move the design down. So, let's see. Hmm. Let's trace and see where it's going to go. Okay, so it's going to go too high up. So I'm going to lower it one more time, or two more times. So that is the top of it. That should be fine. All right. So this is going to be attempt number two with the tension set at 2.8. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we break another needle. And if we do, that's okay. Okay, so it seems like the 2.8 tension worked. No needle breaks. So let me pull the uh, press foot up and pull it off. Okay, so here is what it looks like. So it made it through. So this was the tension at four. It broke the needle. So I moved it down to 2.8 and this is what it looks like on here. It looks pretty good to me. Um, I am going to go ahead and try using a real shirt and see what happens. <laughs> 